Hello everybody, I'm Mike with Omega Survival and I get these pins that I was hearing so much about maybe a year ago and I did a lot of research on them, I've seen a whole bunch of reviews and I heard a whole bunch of really good things about them so I wanted to get a pair and check them out for myself at first I was going to go with them Bear Grylls Craig Hopper pants and these pants that I come across must have inspired those pants because they're identical except these are way better in material and in construction and they're expensive, they're not cheap, they're they got about 20 different styles of pants um, they make very rugged outdoor clothes and I think clothes for a survival situation and a bug out situation aren't talked about enough and um, at least on my channel and it's something I take really seriously and I put a lot of time and effort in um, I have a large amount of clothes and boots and jackets and stuff that are all technical and tactical and outdoors related clothes um, but Fuel Raven make probably 20 different styles of pants and they make shirts and jackets and backpacks too they're from Sweden and this pair are the Fjall Raven Barons Pro Trousers and when you order them you have to read the chart because they are from Sweden and they go on a European size chart and um, What I can say is when you do find your size in American sizes, um, they're an excellent fit. They really fit well, and they should for the price point because, I mean, they have a regular baseline pair of pants that are like, um, I think you can get them for like 60 or 80 bucks, but that's the only price point that low. The rest of them are usually about 150 to like $500 for a pair of pants and uh, I think the ones that are like 60 bucks are the Greenland jeans but these are really expensive um, and I couldn't understand why until I got them and there is one thing about them that I'll get to in the video but to show them as you can see the back material on the butt right here is another layer of material over it there's no back pockets and that's a waterproof material so when you're out in the woods you don't get your rear end wet and that same material extends out over each knee and the knees are also equipped to take padding in them and there's the Fuel Raven emblem right there and I'll show you what I mean by the European sizes on the tag and uh, <clears throat> these have a whole bunch of pockets in them for different things it actually has a uh, pocket right there for a handsaw for a folding handsaw and you can access that from the top or the bottom and to start this material is made out of something called G1000 material it's kind of like the stuff that um, Carhartt jackets are made out of it's almost indestructible not Carhartt I'd say more like a Kevlar Kevlar weave um, that's how tough these things are and there's the G1000 emblem right there as you can see and next to the saw pocket there's a little Swedish flag and they have another pocket here a cargo pocket as you can see and there's a mat pocket here and there's another cargo pocket here 
and then there's two front pockets and there's lots of belt loops all the way around it like more than usual for support now these things they come in raw length they also have molded knees the knees are molded they fit very very well this is probably the best fitting pair of pants that I own and it should for the price I paid for them and I've had them for about a year and I beat the living crap out of them beyond belief and there's no wear in them at all but um, I think if I remember correctly these pants are actually discontinued now they don't make this particular style anymore but they make one identical to it with a different feature in the bottom and that's what I'm getting to right now I had to hem them like that I did three rows of hem because I wanted them to be bomb proof at the leg along with the rest of them and I think I did a pretty good job I have a sewing machine and I taught myself how to use it for repairs on clothing so I did three rows of hem to make the bottoms near indestructible and uh, I'm impressed with myself with what I did I think I did a good job but the new ones the Vita Pro trousers are the exact same thing they look exactly the same the materials the same the color schemes are the same they have these in a bunch of colors they have them in tan with the black knees and back end um, olive green tarmac dark olive orange um, blue they got them in a few different colors you just have to look on their site but the uh, difference with these and the new Vita Pro is they have a snap system on the bottom of the ankle they're no longer uh, raw length is what they call them I actually had to cut like six inches of material off of these before I hemmed them and then I had to use like another two inches to fold the hem in so the hem is really thick at the bottom but uh these things are awesome. You don't have to do this with the new model that they have out, the Vita Pro, because uh, they have that snap system. I'm going to get a pair this summer in sand and black, you know, the regular traditional khaki color with the black butt. And uh, I also have some other Feel Raven clothes. I have t shirts and some sweatshirts from Feel Raven. And I would like to get another pair of these in the uh, dark olive in the black back and the sand in the black back but for now this is the only pair I have. I use them every time I go out into the woods and these are like the best pants I ever owned as you can see um, Everything about them is just tough. It's like the kind of like the material that Dickie's pants are made out of, but much better quality. And uh, Phil Raven also makes this. They also make this stuff called uh, Greenland wax. It's a bar of wax that you're supposed to rub into these. It's designed for these that makes them completely waterproof, and the wax just washes out with a hot wash and it's uh, great stuff. Um, anybody that spends a lot of time outdoors should at least look into these. Um, I'm not being endorsed in any way from Fuel Raven. They're just a pair of my personal pants. It's just something I use a lot that I just wanted to show everybody. Um, maybe one day I'll do a series where I show a lot of the tactical clothes I have. Um, I'd say more technical. I have a lot of North Face and outdoor research and things like that. Um, I also have a lot on the tactical side, like uh, 511 tactical and a lot of other clothes like that. So um, I've been thinking about doing a series of clothing for use outdoors and anybody that does any kind of outdoor activities and things like that or a bug out situation. Um, 
close to putting a get home bag. I think it's something that should be talked about more in the survival community and in the bug out community and people that do shift bags and things like that. But that's about all I have on uh, Fiel Reeve and Barrett's Pro Trouser Pants and uh, Mike with Omega Survival. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.